Hi, I'm Susan Taylor with Scripps Health in San Diego, California. As we age, the effects of sun exposure, smoking, stress, and gravity take their toll on our appearance. But there are ways to improve the visible signs of aging to get rid of the wrinkles and the sagging skin. Joining us to talk about the mini facelift is Dr. Salvatore Pacella. He is a plastic surgeon with the Scripps Clinic Medical Group. He is the division head of plastic and reconstructive surgery at Scripps Clinic and Scripps Green Hospital in La Jolla, California. Doctor, thanks so much for being with us. Susan, thank you for having me. So, so what happens to our skin as we age? That's a very good question, Susan. So, you know, the, the stresses of life and the stresses of our environment always take over. And so as we age, what tends to happen is everything drops down lower. However, what also happens is we tend to lose fat a bit in our face as we get older. So there's a combination of this descent of the face and this deflation of the face. So what is this mini facelift? So a mini facelift is a procedure that's designed to be performed with minimal downtime. It's done in the office setting or under some uh, sedative anesthesia if you choose. And it's truly designed to affect the area in and around the middle of the face. What it does not perform is a lot of lift to the neck area. So it's a perfect operation for someone who say just has a little bit of jowling in and around the cheek here or a little bit of cheek descent. Perfect operation for that. So how is this different from the traditional facelift? So it's really a modification of a traditional facelift. The original facelift incision starts from in front of the ear and goes behind this central section of the ear and goes behind towards the neck. A traditional facelift is really designed to not only pull the cheek, but also the neckline. In a mini facelift, we can oftentimes keep the incision to just below the section of the ear and not have a visible incision that goes behind your ear. It's really designed to pull the cheek the mid face area and the jowl. But what it doesn't do is it doesn't take care of, you know, the wrinkles around the eyes or the forehead or the lips, right? You're basically just lifting the, the, the face up. That's correct. So it's really designed truly to affect the middle of the face and the jowl of the face. And so who is a candidate for this mini facelift? So a perfect candidate for a mini facelift is someone who has a little bit of jowling, a little bit of deflation of the cheek, but not a ton of neck laxity. What the mini facelift does not do is it doesn't pull the neck all that tightly. You can get a little bit of vertical neck lift, but it's really truly designed for the outside of the face. And so it, this, you say this is an outpatient procedure, right? You're in and out from the doctor's office. You don't have to spend the night in the hospital. That is correct. So what are the side effects of a mini facelift? After any facial procedure, particularly in the mini facelift, we can be dealt with some post-operative swelling, and that can occur usually for a week or two after surgery. That goes away, and the result is very good. In addition, any time we're operating in and around the face, there can be some scarring, and scarring can occur usually within a couple weeks after surgery, but the good news is it fades substantially over time. And the downtime of this uh, mini facelift compared to a regular facelift? I would say the recovery for a mini facelift is about half the time of a regular facelift. Oftentimes with a traditional facelift, it can take sometimes three months for all of the swelling to go down. For a mini facelift, a lot of times patients can get back to work within two to three weeks. So what are the benefits of a mini facelift? So the benefits of a facelift are fantastic. First of all, um, the downtime compared in, for a mini facelift compared to a traditional facelift is about half the time. I tell many of my traditional facelift or full facelift patients, recovery can be sometimes about three months. With a mini facelift, that cuts down into about half of the time. So usually after a mini facelift, you can be back to work and activity within roughly two to three weeks. And when you come back to work and do your activity within two to three weeks, people are going to look at you and they're not going to see that you had the facelift. They're just going to see kind of a, a younger version of you. That's right. A, re a rejuvenation for <laughs> sure. So how do you decide if this procedure is right for you? So that's a great question. It's really all about what a patient wants and their physical exam. So for example, if someone has a lot of loose skin in and around the neck area, 
a mini facelift is not going to be a great operation. In those types of patients, a traditional facelift is really going to pull on the neck. The disadvantage is that incision has to be behind the ear. A mini who does best with a mini facelift are patients who are, say, middle age in their 40s or 50s that are just starting to get a little bit of jowling in and around this area of the face or having a little bit of drooping of the cheek area here. Those are patients that are going to do the best with a mini facelift. And, and what is jowling? So jowling is this area right outside of your mouth, right along the line of your jawbone right here. That's oftentimes the first sign of facial aging. So this is the this is the first time we see some loosening in and around the face. So it's right over here. We're all going to get it. So it's uh, that's the part that starts to sag. That's correct. So the mini facelift is is basically much more subtle. That's correct. It is um, it is a design of a facelift that's designed to pull exactly in the right direction. And the key is we don't want you to look different than yourself. We don't want you to look like you're over pulled or overdone. We want you to look like a younger version of yourself, a version of yourself that's well rested. So when people, the best compliment for plastic surgery is looking like you didn't have plastic surgery. When should you consult a plastic surgeon about this procedure? I would say if you're concerned about the appearance of your face and it's very bothersome to you. So for example, when you wake up in the morning, the first thing you see in the mirror is, oh, I wish I had this affected. That's the time to talk to your board certified plastic surgeon. Is there anybody who is not a candidate for this mini facelift? Absolutely, Susan. Patients who are actively smoking are usually not the best candidates for any facial procedure. The reason being is nicotine can affect uh, the ability of somebody to heal a wound. Um, that can lead to really devastating problems with wound healing and very bad scarring. However, if you are a smoker and you're considering any facial rejuvenation procedure, you really want to be off of any cigarettes or nicotine for about three months. The other patients that we approach with great caution are patients who are, say, diabetic or are on a blood thinner. Diabetes can have an effect on wound healing. If you're on a blood thinner, active bleeding can cause problems related to healing of the wound. So that doesn't necessarily mean you're completely not a candidate, but we want to work with your primary care doctor to make sure we get you through the procedure very, very safely. Any final thoughts, doctor? Yes, Susan. In general, facial rejuvenation is a fantastic procedure. A mini facelift can really treat some of the effects of aging and, and deflation that we see in the face. If you're interested in the procedure, be happy to evaluate you. Come on in. Doctor, thanks so much for taking the time. We appreciate it. Thank you, Susan. If you'd like more information on mini facelifts, just click on the link or go to scripts.org forward slash videos. Want more critical information about your health? Please subscribe to our Scripps Health YouTube channel and follow us on social media at Scripps Health. At Scripps, we're here for good. I'm Susan Taylor. Thanks for joining us.